Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about how to plot the sync function within the Python. The IDE which we are using is the PyCharm IDE. So first we have to import two of the main libraries through which we can plot our sync function. So you need to write import mate plot lib dot pi plot is plt and the second library is the numpy library so you can import numpy library as well you need to write import numpy is np okay okay now plt and np are the objects object variables through which we can uh, call both uh, of these libraries rather than writing whole of these things these things and this thing we can just write np and plt and we can call these libraries so now we will obviously we have to plot the sync function is according to time so first we will define our time vector so numpy library is uh, offering us a function that is called as np dot arrange it is the same function just like the lin space function within the MATLAB. So we can write that uh, our time is from minus 2 pi to pi minus 2 cross np dot pi comma 2 cross np dot pi comma 0 0.01. Now what is this? The our our like our vector starts from minus 2 pi. And why we have written np dot pi because this is pi is a function of np library okay numpy library so that is why we have to write like this in order to call this pi function then we will write to cross np dot pi it is the last element or final value okay this is the initial value minus 2 pi this is the final value that is 2 pi and 0 0.01 is the difference among each and every element okay yeah, np dot arrange will create such a vector of in between these two values that is the initial and final that each of the element within them is having a difference of 0 0.01 okay so and, and all this then all this is transferred to time variable and why, why time why why it is like a, why it is given to time variable because we have written here the assignment operator this is equal to sign is the assignment operator whatsoever will be done on the right hand side it will be given to the variable you can even change the name of the variable if you want okay like just like time underscore zero now we will write the amplitude okay amplitude so we have declared a variable that is called as amp and we will now call our function that is np dot sync np dot sync of time now what what it will do sync function okay sorry time underscore zero okay you should have to take care about the spelling of the variables now sync what sync function will do it will take the time with a time vector all the values it will apply the sync function on all the values of the time underscore zero vector then what will happen after the sync function is applied on all these values all the things will be stored in the amplitude okay so all the sync function is now stored in amp vector in the last we need to write plot okay so we will write plt dot plot plt dot plot time underscore zero this is the value on x axis and amp on the y axis okay now we will run it out but you 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 know that uh, our graph will not be displayed why it is so because we need one function that is called as plt dot show and what is plt obviously it is the object of made plot lib dot pi plot so rather than writing all this we can just write plt and it will work okay you can you can even copy it like copy and paste it here and still it will work for you okay so 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 that is why it's uh, not good okay so 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 you just need to write plt okay plt okay so okay now we need to run it out and 
okay now you can see that we have plot our sync function so in this way we can uh, what's called as plot our sync function within the Python and this sync function actually represents the damping okay damping uh, like uh, if the point of occurrence of any event is at zero zero on, on zero time then on is according to like what whatsoever the where there is time is moving like on x-axis or on negative x-axis the amplitude will get damped okay so this is why I think function used to represent damping so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe